Hey everyone, I'm coming to you with a review on Crimson is the New Black, and I hope you guys enjoy this. So, Paige is the owner of Crimson is the New Black. She is in Maine, so she is a U.S. maker. She first came into my radar in March of this year when I added her into my mashup group. Uh, I'd never heard anything really about her, never dealt with her or anything like that. She just joined in, and that's when I really got to see what her stuff was like. She makes pads, well, she made pads, I should say, and she did scrundies. Uh, last month in October, she announced out of the blue that she was closing her shop. None of us knew. It was, it took us by complete surprise. None of her friends knew from the mashup or anything. It was just out with it and it was a huge shock to me and I was really really upset because I hated to see her clothes and leave the community because her stuff is so amazing but the reason for it which I understand is she recently got a new job I think in August maybe September and the job is a lot more involved and intense and therefore she didn't have the time to dedicate to Crimson as the new black like she used to with her old job. So I understood it from that perspective, you know, I, I hated to see her overdo herself, overdo, or overrun herself, sorry, with orders and trying to keep up with the mashup and stuff like that. So I totally understood where she's coming from in regards to having to close her shop. But it did not come without me being very, very sad because she's one of those makers that her quality is so wonderful. She's such a joy to work with. She's just genuinely a great person. And she's one of those that I think everyone should have in their stash because I can't ever find any faults in the stuff that I received from her. Not only these three pads that I have of hers, but when I received the mashup stuff from her too, I never could find a fault. She was always on top of her stuff. Her quality has always been consistent never any flaws and I mean that I've never found a flaw in her stuff so it's very sad that she's not going to be continuing Crimson as the New Black however there may be a time in the future where she can dedicate to opening it back up we'll see there was talk between her and I that maybe for my February box she'll be able to return to do the mashup here and there so definitely keep your eyes out for that in my mashup group when I do announce who my makers will be. But moving on, um, she is one of those shops that makes front leaders. And I love when people in the community offer front leaders because we're like this species that no one seems to remember. Hold on, I'm getting interrupted. Am I making a video? Yes, I am. <laughs> Alright, it's Tinkerbell with two different shoes on and a skirt all the way up to her top. And she's got this. Yeah, something else to watch. Go ask Daddy. Close my door on your way out. Do you want this on? No. Okay. I said I didn't need it on. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, yes, she is a maker that makes front leaders, and I love it because her shape actually works really well for me. Uh, there's not many shops who actually offer front leaders. Uh, a lot of them I've actually contacted and asked them to make a front leader because they don't already offer it in their shop. And it seems once I do that, they get these customers that come out of the word works that are like, I need a front leader from you, blah, blah, blah. And their, fl their front leader patterns just take off. So I love that she offered a front leader because it is wonderful. So this is what her front, front leader shape looks like. It's got a nice little flare in the front, squared off tabs, and a squared off bottom. Um, I've never seen another maker that squares off the bottom of the pad for a front leader. She's definitely the only one I've, I've ever seen, but it definitely, in my opinion, sets her apart from the other makers because no one else is doing it. They snap up to look like so. Like I said, perfect for front leader. 
great shape. I've never had any problems. No bunching. Nice and trim. I do not know what her cores are, but they are super thin. Uh, this is a light. And this is a mod. Okay. I don't know what she uses to do for markings. I honestly don't know. She didn't mark mine, but I knew what they were just based off our conversation. So I don't really know what her markings are, but I know what I have. Uh, her lights are backed in WinPro, which I don't think is necessary for a light, but I know some people, some makers do like to do that, which is totally fine. Um, let's see. What else? She's one maker that I think everyone should have in their stash. The reason why I say this is because I put her in my category of pad royalty. Now this is kind of a funny term that I heard from another maker that kind of was like a what did you just say? But then as I thought more about it, I was like that's kind of like a really good term to use for some makers. Um, I'm not putting it out there that I think some makers are better than others. It's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying strictly off their quality on their products, their sewing, their customer service, that kind of stuff. But that is why I consider them a pad royalty maker. Um, I'm not putting myself in that by any means. I do not feel that my stuff is perfect. I honestly don't even know how my stuff sells out. So I don't even put myself in that. It's all my maker friends and people that I've tried that I put in that spectrum. And Crimson is the New Black is definitely one of them that I put in there. She's one that I think if you can get your hands on some of her stuff, either in the buy, sell, trade, or in the future if she opens back up, you definitely need to. Um, she offers a symmetrical shape, but she also offers a front leader shape. So she's got both ends covered, in my opinion, which is great. And you can't beat her quality. I mean, everything is so consistent and even and beautiful. High quality materials. Um, these have been used multiple times. Uh, you've probably seen her pads show up in my What I Wore This Month videos at least a few times. I've had them since July, I want to say. And I know I've had them in a few of my videos already. So, she's definitely one that is just amazing in all spectrums. I can't say anything negative. Never found a flaw in the stuff I've received and the stuff that I've seen and the stuff that I've received with mashup. Never have I found a flaw. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> I have like a little card here to remind me because my brain's still fuzzy from being sick. Um, 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 that's all I could think of at the moment, really. So, anyways, what I'm basically trying to say is I give her high marks. She's a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Definitely in the pad royalty category. Um, and I think you guys should try and get a hold of her stuff if you can, because she's that wonderful. So, I'm going to log off here because I feel like I'm rambling, but I will talk to you all again soon. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and go buy some Crimson is the New Black because her stuff is wonderful, and you'll love it. You will not regret it, okay? But that's it for now. I will say bye and talk to you all again soon.